We have heard more and more from scientists around the globe that they simply want more and more information from every sample they inject, and they want it faster and quicker. I think it's an exciting platform and it will allow us to perform more rapid analysis with greater confidence in our identifications. We're generally handling highly complex, low abundancy samples, which are an increasing challenge. I think this new platform will allow us to couple with more improved LC strategies. The high mass resolution will allow us to better identify species that we're currently missing at the moment through overlapping masses. It's going to be a far more sensitive platform than those that we're currently using. The triple top 5600 will allow us to set up new analytical strategy to address the biological issues. It will allow us to improve the quality of the data we generate. It's an open platform to think differently to what we have done in the past. Another key point is that for the first time we can fully exploit the performance of separation science, high-speed LC separation combined with multiple MS experiments, which are very essential to generate high quality data. I'm really excited about the 5600 triple TOF and the opportunity to do first pass quantitation and getting more results out of our data. In our laboratory, we're primarily interested in investigating the pathogenesis of rare and neglected diseases, particularly of the developing world. And our intention is to use technologies like this to drive forward our understanding of the fundamental biology of these organisms. The triple top is definitely the first high-resolution accurate mass machine that's been designed from first principles to be a quantitative machine. With that will come supreme qualitative capabilities with greater speed and sensitivity. It's one of the biggest sea changes in the field. The triple top 5600 is a multi-purpose machine uh, that does both qualitative and quantitative analysis at the same time. So the normal paradigm of having a high-speed sequencing mass spectrometer on one side of the room and a high-sensitivity quantification mass spectrometer on the other side is now gone. We're going to take the triple top and we're going to put it in between. And because it can do both things very well, we will only use the other machines for speciality instrumentation. So this is the real Swiss Army knife. It does more than one thing, it does it well, and it does it simply. The speed and resolution of the, the triple top 5600 will really make a big difference in being able to, to explore our really complex peptide data sets. For us, the major part of the innovation is really to maintain that high resolution down to low mass ranges. We're doing metabolomics and existing systems have never allowed us to maintain the same performance with high resolution in a low mass range and the new system, the triple top 5600, will allow us to have the same kind of resolution in the entire MOS range that we're covering. The triple top 5600, you know, it has great sensitivity and a really high resolution both in the precursor scan and the tandem scan and the really fast duty cycle. It sounds really amazing resolution for proteomics, lipidomics and metabolomics. A whole variety of permutations of workflows can be envisioned, combining quant and qual with the same sample, for instance, or just going in for qualitative information, accurate mass, unknown identification, as is very typical in drug metabolism and other fields, and then going in and quantitating those. The 5600 provides a system that enables us to have multiple workflows on the one instrument. Uh, this gives us greater flexibility uh, to do you know, multiple types of experiments with the one uh, instrumentation. The 5600 will, will enable us to uh, measure uh, peptides and proteins with much greater mass accuracy than what we can currently do with systems in our laboratory. The three workflows available on the new platform should really complement each other so you can go from a discovery type phase to a data validation phase all on the same instrument and that's a real power for analytical laboratories. So to advance the science that we do we ought to be able to generate better data on many lower copy number proteins. And that will help us to really identify what's changing in the systems that we're studying. Uh, I think it's an amazing um, new instrument that is going to um, change the way we do science. We think this is um, what's going to drive the future. <laughs>